In today's video, I'm gonna show you a really good blitz that you can use to get really good pressure. I think this blitz will be one of the better blitzes in Madden 24. This has been one of the best blitzes in Madden 23, and it is not dollar three two. It's actually a different style defense, one that I actually really like because it gives you a dedicated user. It also gives you pretty good alignment against any formation, and it kind of combines some elements of other of the best blitz metas in the game. Now, if you wanna get my entire Madden blitzing uh, defensive ebook, it goes through every formation in Madden, and it breaks down how to blitz out of each of those formations or the best blitzes out of those formations. You can get that by becoming a Patreon member today for just $10, and that is also going to get you access to some of the Madden 24 stuff we do. We're getting ready to release that for the Madden 24 beta, a blitzing ebook for that. Um, so if you're not in the Patreon yet, it's only 10 bucks to become a member, and the link is down in the description. So again, the blitzing ebook, what's cool about it is you get all the ebooks, but what's cool about the blitzing one is it updates throughout the year. So it kind of gives you... Um, essentially a blueprint for how to blitz out of every formation. And we're going to have kind of a foundational one created for Madden 24. And then obviously that will change as the game gets patched, updated, and tweaked and all that. But the defense we're talking about today comes out of the dime normal. And this is a pretty unique formation. It's actually something that I personally really, I think I, I, think I kind of overlooked it, to be honest, uh, early on in the year because of how good dollar was. But what's good about Dime Normal is it's really good against the run. Another thing that's really good about this, this is in the 46 playbook. Another thing that's really good about this formation is it has a, a lot of different coverages. So it has uh, cover four quarters, it has cover three cloud, it has cover six, it has cover four palms. It's one of the only uh, formations in the game that has cover six, cover four palms, cover four quarters, and cover three clouds. So that's a really good feature in this formation. And we're gonna be utilizing this defense on a base alignment. So it's always gonna look the same. Um, so the base defense we're gonna be coming out in, and then what I would do is put these in your audible. So cover three cloud, you could put, um, I'm trying to think if there's this other pressure in here, you know, I, maybe three double buzz, honestly. And then I would put the quarters coverages, or if you wanted Tampa two in there, you could certainly uh, just put Tampa two in there, but I would have, the cover four quarters, cover four palms, and honestly, you could probably have cover six too. So, but the the base play is DB blitz zero. That is the the base defense, and that is the blitz. And what's cool about this blitz is all you have to do is just pinch your defense. So you just pinch your defense, you're completely set up. You can pass commit if you want. You can bring the safeties down if you want to. We know that's been really good from Dollar this year. Um, and then you're just gonna stand right here. Now, if I was playing bunch, um, one of the things you might wanna do, again, you're gonna have to either use your tight end or you're gonna have to cross man the tight end. And then you're gonna have to live with them throwing the ball to the flat. Another thing that I actually think is super underrated that you can do though, is you can actually do something like this where you kind of switch up that and you do what's called a, a cross concept and then you're using the running back. But what you'll see with the blitzing aspect of this is you should get double edge pressure every single time. Now you're sending six people at the quarterback. So the beauty of sending six people at the quarterback is if they go to block a running back, sometimes in dollar, this can pick this up. But typically out of dime normal, this is still going to come in consistently every single time. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what pass protection they're going to do. You're going to be able to uh, to get the pressure in there. Now, another thing that you can uh, tinker around with is take this nose guard and man him up on the running back. Actually, he's a super underrated. So by manning this nose guard up on the running back, you should still get the double pressure, as you can see right there, the, the slot DBs. But what that man up from the defensive tackle is going to do, number, it's going to do a lot of things. Number one, it's going to make you really, really good against the run. So if they try to run the ball on you and you man this guy up onto the running back, it creates this natural shoot, and it's really hard for them to get through the gaps. Dime normal by just very basic alignment is really good against the run. The other thing that this is going to do uh, for you is when you man this up, let's say they block a running back. Now, he's still gonna pass rush like normal. So if the running back blocks, that guy is either gonna pass rush or he's gonna turn into a QB spy. So you're still gonna be able to get the maximum pressure that you want. And then the last thing about this that I really like is if let's say I audible here to cover four quarters, we're gonna pinch our defense, you see there, by and large, if I move those safeties down, it's gonna look fairly similar. And then what I can simply do is just take one of these uh, nose, one of these guys on the D-line, and we're gonna drop them into a bluff blitz, and then we're just gonna use this guy right here, and now we have a really good coverage um, for defending any kind of flood concept. So what you'll see here, these corner routes, 
they're not going to be able to throw that on the match defense of cover four quarters, which makes this a really, really, really good defense. So, uh, anyways, that's dime normal. Uh, again, one of my favorite defenses. And then if, let's say you wanted to do, um, let's say you wanted to do some like maximum coverage. I would still always, you always want to be sending four. So just take this guy on the right and man him up on the tight end. They're not going to be expecting that adjustment. They're expecting him to blitz, of course. So now you're going to man him up. And then what I would do is man up the running back with the slot DB. And then you could create a concept like this over here on the solo side. That's pretty hard to consistently complete throws against. Now they're blocking people. And so you're going to get extra people in the pass coverage game. And as you can see, if you have extra people in the pass coverage game, you got a really good chance at being able to play lockdown defense. So that's how I like to run dime normal, at least a blitzing perspective. And then again, you want to mix in some of these coverages. So like if, you know, I would pinch my defense, I'd bring these guys down. And then once I did that, I would then go into, okay, if I want audible to cover through cloud, audible, you know, I mean, you could, you could honestly audible to it whenever you come out. But the beauty of this is, you know, as you can see, it just creates a little bit more disguise within the defense. So this is one of my favorite defenses, Dime Normal, based around the DB Blitz. Um, the DB Blitz is really consistent. It's a little bit more consistent than Dollar. Now you are sitting six, um, but you're always going to get pressure. That's what makes it so good. You're always going to get that pressure in there, and it's going to really force them to have to make a hot read. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Madden Blitzing ebook, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of the ebooks, including the Blitzing ebook, where we teach you how to blitz out of every formation in Madden. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.